Yo, what's up guys? Frank Daniels here, and today I want to talk to you about a very important concept for your success in health, in fitness, and any other area of your life. Now this is very personal to me because I learned this lesson several years back, and some of you guys know my life story, but my father was very sick with multiple sclerosis. He was sick for a long time. We took care of him. My mother took off when I was younger, so she abandoned the family. So I kind of had a couple strikes against me just as a, as a young kid. And at a certain point, I, I didn't deal with that stuff well. So I got involved in trouble and drugs, and, and that stuff ended me up in a lot of trouble where I was actually in rehab directly after high school. And, and I learned some valuable lessons there. I don't know if it straightened me out in terms of drugs. That took a little while for me to kind of straighten out myself. It's a story and a topic for another day. But in, we'll say AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, and in just kind of rehab in general, they always say the Lord's Prayer. So the Lord's Prayer, and I can't really cite it for you because I'm, you know, I don't, couldn't even tell you I actually took to this, but I did take to this, the first sentence of the Lord's Prayer, and it's, uh, you know, Lord, give me the strength to accept the things I cannot change um, and then the strength to change the things that I can. And I think this is a very important concept for a lot of people. So for me personally, I couldn't start to even begin to have success in any area of my life because I was so blinded and angry about the stuff that had happened to me when I was a kid. So I felt slighted. And I paid attention to that all the time. Like all these things were taken away from me um, and I had these issues. But when I started to think about this line from the Lord's Prayer to myself, um, that's when I started to kind of say, you know, like some of the stuff I just can't change. I couldn't change that my father, he was sick. Like I had no control over that. Couldn't change that my mother took off when I was young. I had no control over that. So my focus and my attention to that was, uh, was way out of something that I could even do anything about. So now... Uh, my energy spent on those things was, was a waste of energy. So, uh, so when I stopped paying attention to that stuff and just stopped using, started to use um, what were benefits of my strengths, that's when things started to go well. So a lot of people don't recognize or realize that you want to accomplish stuff and sometimes the thing that gets in the way is this deep down inner belief that you're just not even worth that. And it's this little thing called self-esteem, right? And part of self-esteem is this idea of self-acceptance. So there's certain things about you that you probably just haven't accepted just yet. You know, certain things you're just never going to be able to change. And, and the big point of what I'm talking about here is learn to accept the stuff that you can't change and identify the things that you can change and improve those things. Identify your strengths and then identify the things that you can improve and improve those things. So there's many areas many skills, many ways to be able to improve yourself, but a comparison game to other people doesn't work. And then, again, trying to go crazy about stuff that you just can't change uh, about yourself, about your appearance, about your genetics, whatever it might be, um, those are things you have to learn to accept and, and really try to improve the things that are in your control. And these are big keys and, and big tips for people. Again, my life did not improve until I learned to let go of the stuff that I just couldn't control. And I let go of it, and then things started to improve. And again, on the, on the flip side, to even add to that, you have to accept the things about yourself that, um, that are just there. You just have to accept those things and learn to kind of look at and identify the skills and the areas that you can improve. So for example, um, you know, in terms of your health, in terms of your fitness, there's certain people that are genetically gonna be more gifted than other people. They're gonna get results faster. That really has nothing to do with you. What you want to do is just learn to improve where you're at. So just because someone gets results faster doesn't mean you can't get results. You have to improve at the rate that you improve at and just, just focus on yourself, right? Certain people, like you you know, a lot of times you look and say, okay, that person's better looking than me. They're smarter than me. They're, uh, they can jump higher than me. They can run faster than me, whatever it might be. Uh, but once again, this comparison game to other people is a lose-lose situation. So it's not that you can't improve those things. Uh, genetically or physically, there are certain limitations for people. And if you have those limitations, you need to learn to accept them. We all do. We all need to learn to accept the limitations that we have as in comparison to other people. But the more we're comparing ourselves to other people, um, just in real life, 
it's a lose-lose scenario. What you want to do is see what you can learn and, and what you can kind of pull off of what those people do well and see if you can apply it to yourself and improve those things. So again, uh, you just want to think about like what, what can I change? Like what's changeable and what's not changeable? If it's not changeable, you need to let it go. Stop focusing on it and only focus on the things, your strengths, your abilities to improve uh, and not other people. Just focus on yourself, improving yourself, and those things will bring um, dramatic improvements to your success and your health and your fitness and your life. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will check you soon.